Hello viewers, welcome back and today we are going to discuss the anatomy of biceps brachii muscle. So the biceps brachii is this muscle of the anterior compartment of our arm and it is the most superficial muscle of the anterior compartment of our arm. This muscle travels from the scapula superiorly to the proximal forearm inferiorly and this muscle lies just above the other two muscles of the anterior compartment of our forearm which are the coracobrachialis and the brachialis muscles. The biceps brachii is known as a biarticular muscle because this muscle travels across two joints the shoulder or the glenohumeral joint and the elbow joint. And this muscle has two heads of origin, the long head and the short head. And these two heads then originate from different anatomical structures on the scapula. So the short head of the biceps brachii originates from the coracoid process of the scapula. The coracoid process is this anterior projection which comes off the lateral angle of the scapula. And the long head of the biceps brachii originates from the supraglenoid tubercle. The supraglenoid tubercle is this tubercular structure on the superior facet of the glenoid fossa of the scapula. The long head of the biceps brachii, as you can see, runs underneath this ligament known as the transverse humeral ligament. So the long head of the biceps brachii is held in place by this ligament within this sulcus or groove known as the bicipital groove of humerus. And the bicipital groove of humerus is formed between the greater and lesser tubercles of the humerus. After origin, the two heads of the biceps brachii converge to form a single muscle belly which then inserts through a single muscle tendon onto the radial tuberosity. And the radial tuberosity is this outgrowth on the proximal and medial aspect of the radius. And some areas of anatomical studies also suggest that the biceps brachii also inserts onto the bicipital aponeurosis. So the bicipital aponeurosis is this flat sheet of tendon which comes off the distal end of the tendon of insertion of the biceps brachii and it provides strength and reinforcement to this anatomical area on the front of the elbow called the cubital fossa. And this bicipital aponeurosis provides protection to the important anatomical structures which are the brachial artery and the median nerve. In terms of its actions, the biceps brachii flexes our forearm at the elbow joint. And this muscle is also a very important and powerful supinator of our forearm. So as the biceps brachii crosses both the elbow and the shoulder joint, so this muscle also should exert some effect on the shoulder joint and in most anatomical study areas it is mentioned that this muscle flexes the shoulder at the glenohumeral joint. Now if we study a little about the nerve supply of the biceps brachii muscle, so this muscle is supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve. So the musculocutaneous nerve originates from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus which is made up of the anterior rami of the C5, C6 and C7 cervical nerve roots. So if we look at the musculocutaneous nerve, so we find out that this nerve passes deep to the biceps brachii and just above the coracobrachialis and brachialis muscles to innervate the biceps brachii muscle. The biceps brachii muscle receives its arterial supply from the brachial artery. So 
So the brachial artery is a major blood vessel of our arm. And this artery lies deep to the biceps brachii muscle. The brachial artery begins as a continuation of the axillary artery. So as the axillary artery crosses the lower margin of the teres major muscle, it then continues off as the brachial artery. And the brachial artery then supplies the biceps brachii muscle. So now if we just give a quick review to all these points which we studied about the biceps brachii muscle. So this muscle has two heads of origin, the long head and the short head. The short head originates from the coracoid process of the scapula, while the long head originates from the supraglenite tubercle of the scapula. This muscle then inserts onto the radial tuberosity and the bicipital aponeurosis. The nerve supply of this muscle, so the biceps brachii, is supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve. The arterial supply of this muscle, so the biceps brachii muscle is supplied by the brachial artery. And the actions performed by this muscle are the flexion of the forearm at the elbow joint, the supination of the forearm, and the flexion of the shoulder at the glenohumeral joint. So this was about the biceps brachii muscle. Hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you so much.